Something odd is happening with Georgia, and we're going to talk about it today. Welcome to Tips of Gamers. I'm Dottery. Odd stuff going on with Georgia in their recruiting class. Very weird, I will say. Georgia right now, in my opinion, has the number two recruiting class because they're average. They have more guys, and it adds some more points, but actually Ohio State has the highest average player. Like, they're... they're they have a better octane of players, according to 24-7 Sports. And I actually don't think they're wrong on that. Some of these guys Ohio State's getting is, is freakish. Also, it says they have four or five stars. They don't. One decommitted. They only have three. Okay, so this is a little confusing to me. But, yeah, they only have three five stars right now. And so, are they in trouble? No. George is not in trouble. I don't think so. I, I wouldn't bet on that. And you can see the top three guys there. And the recruiting class is great. Right? There's no doubt their recruiting class is amazing and they're going to be fine. But there's something weird that's definitely happened. And I'm not even going to talk about the decommits really because, yeah, this guy, this was this was a real blow here. This guy here also, uh, Riddick, decommits, goes to Auburn. Those two were real big blows. Okay, real big blows. Um, especially this tight end. I mean, that is just that one was painful because Georgia does do well with tight ends. That's something they always have done well with. The problem that they have is their in-state recruiting right now, which is so strange. I don't count Dylan Rayola in this because Dylan Rayola decommits from Ohio State, commits to Georgia, and then he moves to Georgia after that. He, he was from like Arizona or something. The dude is not a Georgia native by any stretch. Okay, by any stretch. So the, in my opinion, you know, I don't know exactly what's going on there but um he moved to georgia after committing to georgia and that was the reason as to why so i'm not counting him because it just doesn't make sense to count him sammy brown goes to clemson kj bolden who was projected to go to georgia i thought he'd either go to georgia or ohio state he ends up going to florida state crazy people say they threw him the bag whatever uh it doesn't matter it's none of my business spend your money how you want you know as long as it's it's lawful go do your thing Mike Matthews goes to Tennessee. Tennessee's been bleeding some of their own guys. The number one guy last year, Carnell Tate, out of Tennessee, goes to Ohio State. Not a shock at all to me because Ohio State's wide receiver U. I mean, it's just, I said it two years ago, people doubted me. And, uh, yeah, well, they are wide receiver U. And then the tight end here, who this guy's the number one tight end in the country, and absolutely ridiculous, goes to Florida State. Decommits, goes to Florida State. Real problem there. Edric Houston, number one DN in my opinion, goes to Ohio State. Now Ohio State has the best defensive line in the country. They got the number one D tackle and the number one uh, edge rusher. And so it's just insane that Ohio State's landing. I think they're going to have the number one recruiting class, and this is going to be the best recruiting class Ohio State's ever had. They have 600,000 living alumni right now. The biggest fan base that nil is only going to make sense for him the more it goes on if you don't put a cap on ohio state's going to win the nil battle and they already do good with throwing guys into the nfl they have more guys in the nfl than i believe uh georgia i don't know if they beat alabama but i believe ohio state they're really really good with uh they're an nfl factory there's no doubt about that two quarterbacks here this is not a shock you got dylan rayola uh edge rusher here goes to usc the second best tight end out of Georgia goes to South Carolina. The third best tight end goes to Alabama. The, the tight ends in Alabama are just insane. The top 10 guys in the state of Georgia didn't even pick Georgia. How crazy is that? To even, I've never seen that with Georgia. I've been monitoring recruiting for a long time. I've never seen this. Never. I've never seen Georgia not be able to land a top 10 guy in their own state. This is this is mind-boggling. We go to 2023. It won't take us long to find a Georgia guy. Okay, so we found a Georgia guy here. Look at 2023. All right, okay, you got a linebacker here. You got K.J. Allen or C.J. Allen. Uh, you end up getting two out of the three. Okay, you get three out of the top 10 or the top eight. Three guys, right? Yeah, Cle Clemson's going to come in. Clemson always does. They 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 are going to be able to go into SEC territory and recruit Alabama. That's what they do. They're starting to slip a little bit, I will say. Um, it is interesting to see. So so this is weird. And then we go to 2022. Same thing here. I mean, they they get really good guys in in their uh, in their state. Now they only got. Wait a minute. This doesn't make sense. I was going to say something's not right about this. I got to go to the state. Two in the top three of the state of Georgia. Okay, so you have three, four in the top ten. And you can just let's just count five in the top eleven. That's a lot. That's way different than going to twenty twenty four and going, oh, by the way, uh, we don't have a single guy that is you know from Georgia in the top ten. We the one of the guys moved here just recently. Aside from that, we don't have a single guy in the top ten. 
That That's mind-boggling to me. Absolutely mind-boggling. So th- that's the one thing that's interesting with Georgia right now is they're just, it's weird. Uh, you, you should be able to claim your state, and uh, they're not. Are they going to be fine with the recruiting class? Yeah, but it's just weird to think that Georgia's going, they have to go outward to get the best guys instead of what's around them. It's really weird. Sure, some of these guys may flip and go to Georgia, but right now it's looking definitely strange, and I've just not seen this from Georgia before.